you probably didn't plan on coming back here, eh? Well, plans do change, no? Are you angry? You're angry. There is this one thing I must do before I can recover the ember. Before? This is not a negotiation, Louis, so choose your next words carefully. Whoa. Listen, there is someone who needs my help. You know me, always the good Samaritan. Let me guess, Leon? Yes, exactly. Leon and that young woman, they are both infected. They need this medicine. It slows the infection, and I know it works. I used it on myself. So, and why I... does this matter to me? Because you two are infected. It's what I researched for all these years, Ada. And I see the symptoms already showing in your eyes. You must already feel the effects, eh? The medicine will stop them for a time. Just trust me. You have a lot to gain and nothing to lose. Okay, but this is your last chance. We do this first, and then the Amber. I'll let Leon know. <laughs> Hola, Luis here. You guys still around? Boy, well, I wanted to go home, but Ashley just had to see this castle first. Perfect, because I have a precedent to give you. Medicine that will help to suppress the progress of your problem. See, come to the courtyard inside of the castle. We can meet up there. Ciao. Greetings to Salutations, this is Tech Renaud here, back with more Resident Evil 4 separate ways. And we are almost halfway through this Let's Play. I think, um, after the next video, we'll officially be halfway, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember exactly how many parts this Let's Play is going to take, but I think it's roughly like 12 or 13, maybe 14, I don't know. It's a pretty lengthy DLC, but it's not as long as the main game, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. This DLC is like the length of a single run of RE2 Remake, which is pretty big for a DLC. Because you gotta keep in mind, most people's run on RE2 Remake um, would be 6 to 9 hours. This DLC is 6 to 9 hours. <laughs> Just how it is. Like, I don't think you could beat this. But the difference is, though, you could beat RE2 Remake. A run of RE2 Remake in less than six hours. I don't think you could do that with this DLC unless you, like, pull some speed running strats and skips and stuff. But this is my first time ever going through this DLC, so you ain't really going to see me pulling any of that. Plus, I don't really try to do speed running tactics that often sometimes i'll do like there's a couple ones i do in the main game every time i replay it like i, I usually save a grenade for that specific uh gate and you can throw a grenade on the other side and it'll open the gate so you can skip a whole section i do that a lot i also like uh, throw a grenade or a flash grenade and stop the guy from pulling the lever like, those are two skips I do almost every time I go, like, I play the main game, but I don't do any other skips outside of that. No, sir. No, sir. Not today. So now that like I've had time to like process the DLC and like really like rank it, I think I still put RE2 remake above this. I think I do. I think I just love the DLC too much in the moment, but I think I still put RE2 remake above this. I'm not sure if I put the main game above this or not, because here's the thing: they both got different strengths. Like this, this DLC, in my personal opinion, has better bosses overall. Because, yeah, Black Robe 2 kind of sucks, but, like, outside of Black Robe 2, no, no, no. 
the bosses here are actually pretty good in the main game um while most of the bosses in the main game are good it also has stuff like del lago and the armor gigante fight which isn't even a fight you're basically just dodging it until you can get to a cannon so yeah the, those two bosses suck i'm being honest for different reasons the armor el gigante one sucks because um basically it doesn't even feel like a boss it doesn't it gives off very Harley Quinn boss from Arkham Asylum vibes. Um, to give context to that, yes, there is a Harley Quinn boss in Arkham Asylum, but I forgot there was a Harley Quinn boss in Arkham Asylum because the boss is basically you just fighting a bunch of goons while Harley turns on and off electric floors. That's the boss. That's basically it. That's why I forgot that she had a boss in Arkham Asylum. I always just remembered that it was um, Bane, Poison Ivy, and Joker. And if you want to count it, I guess you could count Killer Croc, but his is more of a chase sequence. But I never, like, even considered, like, Harley Quinn a boss until, like, my, until, like, my current replay of the game where I realized, oh yeah, this technically is a boss, isn't it? It just don't really feel like it. <laughs> and honestly, I think the Arkham games are awesome, but I think the one thing they there was a missed opportunity is that Harley actually could have worked for boss fights, like straight up 1v1 against Batman boss fights. And the reason why I believe that is because Every because we've seen in animated and live action media that Harley could kick ass. So the fact that she can't do that against Batman in the Arkham games is a little disappointing. It honestly would have made for like a better experience if she had an actual boss in Arkham Asylum instead of like being a goon rush boss. But um it's whatever. Then we get to, um, I mean, I guess it would have made too much of a difference because the, the only other game she would have had a boss in would have been Arkham Knight. Because in Arkham City, she doesn't ever really get an opportunity to be a boss fight. Joker does, but his is basically Arkham Asylum Harley Quinn 2.0. <laughs> Joker's kind of a missed opportunity, too. Like, he really is with boss fights. Because I know the guy ain't strong, but he could have pulled some shit, you know? He could have pulled some shit. <clears throat> I think that's why the final boss of Arkham City is, that, is Clayface instead of Joker. Because the devs at that point just knew they couldn't end the game off with Joker again because last time <laughs> it did not go well. To, to get context on this, Joker is the only bad boss fight in Arkham Asylum. The Poison Ivy boss fight is pretty good. The Bane boss fight's alright. I don't love it, but it's alright. And like I said, the Harley Quinn boss fight is just a glorified goon rush. I must have dropped it. It's funny to me that they still use those to this day. Those little locks. Okay. They used them in both Revelations games. I think they used them in the OG 4 and 5. Like they still use those. Kind of weird. In the Revelations games, though, they're a little larger, so they're easier to shoot. But I guess because the aim is more precise here, it kind of excuses them being smaller. Because they're still kind of easy to shoot. Okay. So we're looking for this junk. 
Well, let's go find the junk then. Let's go find the junk. So back to what I was talking about. Um, I am planning to do Arkham City and Arkham Knight at some point too. But I started. I want to do them in order because, like, there are a lot of game series that I started doing on my channel that I did not do in order. Uh, well, not really a lot. It's Crash Bandicoot and right. Resident Evil, and I haven't really continued doing any other Crash games. But I've done a good job at doing like Spyro in order. But I'm probably gonna skip three because I don't really care for it all that much. Like I've gotten halfway through. Spyro 3 and the Reunited Trilogy and it just, in my honest opinion is not as good as the first two games. Not even close. Spyro 3 is like the Crash 1 of the of the Spyro Trilogy to me. Whereas it's the weakest game. <laughs> Sp my opinion used to be that Spyro 1 was the best one, but that's that was... An opinion from somebody who um, didn't even fight the bo first boss yet at the time. But now I kind of see Spyro 2 is the best one. But yeah. That's just because Spyro 2 has better bosses. It has a more likable villain in my opinion. A more iconic villain, too, because Nasty Nork is fine and all, but, like, he kind of didn't do much in his game, you know? You kind of see him twice. And one of those two times was this boss fight. Most of what you got for Nasty Nork was, um, the stuff you heard from other characters. You know? Sorry if I'm going silent for a moment. I still have some new items you might be interested in. A deal well struck. <laughs> kind of looking at shit. There you are, as you wished. This kind of work is about finesse, straight. Hmm. Just be <laughs> being real weird with my inventory again. I I know anybody who's like watched my RE4 Let's Play it is now watching this. I know this probably gets really frustrating. Just bear with me. I know it probably gets really frustrating how often I do this. But I am very, like, OCD about organization. And, like, when I say OCD, I'm not just, like, say, like, using it to mean I'm overly organized. No, I actually have OCD for organization type stuff. That, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Motherfucker. I meant to combine the, um... I meant to combine the third herb and I accidentally used it. <laughs> wow. That ain't the first time that's happened in this Let's Play either. I don't know why I keep making that mistake, but it's whatever. Whatever, dude. I made room, that's all that matters. I made, like, three spaces of room, but it was something. It was something, dudes. It was something. And here I go, trying to make more room. <laughs> Pass me! You did enough! You okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. 
We only got 10 minutes left of the video anyway. We can bear with this a little longer. Okay. We don't have enough to get that shit, so we're not getting it. Why am I crouching? Oh, I must have heard that enemy. One down. I think there's another one around here, maybe? Oh no, there's not, because we're in the library. Yeah, I didn't even, wait, there was an enemy in the library? Holy fuck, that's that's uh interesting. In the main game, you never had an enemy come in here. Hey, there we are, we got a piece. Luckily, in the DLC, you only have to find one piece, I think. Could be wrong. Could be mis misremembering, but... I think it was just one piece. There we go. I did do a little like fade, a fade skip there because uh, it's gonna be like a few minutes to do that. But yeah. The first ingredient should be in this room. Which castle do I think is better, you might be wondering. Castle Dimitrescu or Castle Salazar? And I think Castle Salazar is better. By is leagues better. It's much larger, you spend more time in it. Salazar himself is just more entertaining than Lady Dimitrescu. Because if I'm being entirely honest, I think... The like Lady Dimitrescu has always been highly overrated because she's not even like entertaining or anything. She just kind of, you know, boss person. That that's it. But people people liked her because they simped her, and I'm like, fam, get the fuck over it. She's literally a nothing character, almost. Like the only thing she has to her, she has going for her, is that her that her daughters are interesting. Her daughters are actually interesting. I like them. I like her daughters. I like Moreau. I like Heisenberg. I do not care for L Lady D, Mother Miranda. Uh, Donna Benevento's fine, but I hate Angie. <laughs> I hate her puppet. Really ear grating. Lady Dimitrescu is fine. In my honest opinion, she's not bad. But I just wish, like, with all the hype and simping people had for her, that, you know, she at, that she actually justified it. But oh well. I just think, uh... I think people hyped her up too much, and because of that, when I got to the game and actually witnessed her... She was underwhelming for that reason. But like I said, she's not bad. The only, like, one that I think is bad is Angie. I don't like Angie at all. Little annoying puppet. I like the idea of Angie and Donna Benevento. I really like their idea. I just don't care for her voice. Her voice is uh, a little annoying. So who are you working for this time? Oh, Leon. You know I don't work in town. Hmm. 
Leave the girl. She's lost no matter what. You walk away now, and who knows? Maybe you'll live to meet me again. And then I might get you that greeting you were looking for. You think I'm gonna give up that easy? Right. How about we continue this discussion another time? Okay, I did shut up for a little bit of that cutscene. I know I've been talking over cutscenes a lot, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, like, at least for this Let's Play, and, like, any Let's Plays where the cutscenes are a little important, I'm trying to, like, tone that down a little bit, because I know I've been making that mistake a lot. But yeah. Woo! You know what this thing kind of reminds me of? It reminds me of that thing from Mario Zero, where you use it out the window and you would, like, launch to something. Well, shit. Oh, oh, I remember this part. I remember this part. Oh, this part's fun. This part, I'm not saying that to be sarcastic either. This part's actually fun. Unfortunately, you're not going to see the end of the part in this video, but like, this part's really fun. So we need a snake. We need a snake and a snake. Okay. A snake? <gasps> a snake. That wasn't the snake. That was something else. That, I think that was the dragon. Then we have to pull the snake, and then there's a snake we gotta shoot. I think. Or there's, well, I guess I was half right. I gotta shoot it, but. It wasn't on the other side. See, I wish this would have been the route they took in the main game instead of having you fight that room of enemies. Have you do this little puzzle here, because this would have been like a better use of this item than the main game did. You know, just my opinion, my personal opinion. I like the way it's done here better. Of course, I have a lot of bias for separate ways just for the fact that like, I, I like puzzle heavy Resident Evil and this, at least the castle part of this DLC is more puzzle heavy than the main game's castle segment. In the main game castle segment, you have like two puzzles. One of them is that um, one of them is that library puzzle, and one of them is um, the puzzle you do with Ashley. But that's kind of it. Here you got the library puzzle again, but you also have this puzzle. And then you have, there's another puzzle I just don't really recall. I thought that was an exit for a second. Oh shit. Well, I'm ending it off here, so bye. See ya.